Let's see if this place changes a little bit if we make it nighttime here. Might have to go a little longer than that. It's uh not quite dark. I don't want to wait all the way till midnight though, so um when we do like four hours, I guess that'll make it ten o'clock. Here we go. So let's try this on for size. And uh, see if we can get into places now. It's round like a mole. I'd rather fly. Alright, the bar is open now at least, yeah. This guy like doing slam poetry <laughs> or something. Uh, who, who are we looking at here? Ismark. Yeah, what do you want? Okay, no, he does sing. Ah, good singing, pal. Thanks, what can I do for you? Do music anywhere else? Yeah, I sing at the hub sometimes, and I visited the Brotherhood of Steel and Adidum. Adidum? With the caravans, why do you ask? How do we get to the hub? Uh, our hub's just a little bit south. I think we already knew that. Uh, and then, what about the Brotherhood? Brotherhood's a couple days west and a little north. Don't go there, though. They won't let you in unless you're with a caravan. Okay. And the other place? Uh, hmm. Head southwest of the hub. Um, Adidam is part of the Boneyard. It's a small semi-industrial town. I didn't like it much there. What else you want? Uh, let me barter. Excuse me. There we go. Uh, he's got 38 caps. I don't think I have anything really to give him. Aside from, like, some food and stuff, I guess. Alright, well, fair enough. I mean, I guess that helps. What else do we got in here? This is a waitress. The Skulls Gang. Oh, yeah, these are all the Skulls guys. Man with filed teeth. Hey, fresh bait. So what brings you into our territory, chum? Here for a little fun? At your expense, of course. Uh, <laughs> what do you do for fun around here? We beat up posers like you. Oh. Well. See how you like that. My dog here anywhere still? Oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> Speaking of the dogs, first we actually have to not die. That's a pretty important part of this arrangement. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Dog needs doing his best here. Well, you're out of here. Um. Can I... I kind of want to do a burst fire, but I'm afraid I'm going to hit Ian, because I I think I had read somewhere that the burst goes in a cone. I don't want to hit dog meat either. But uh, this is like the most dangerous guy we got going on here. I think if I... Uh, move with control, I won't move too far, but if we go, like, here, maybe? Yeah, I think that'll do. <laughs> Ian's getting a little worked over here, but, uh... Oh, yeah, I think I might have actually hit dog meat there. Oh, and that guy's on the ground now. Yeah, I did hit dark, uh, dog meat. Oh, the guy's name was Shark. <laughs> I get the middle grill now. Um... Yeah, I did hit dog meat accidentally. I don't know um, if there's much I could have done about that, but try a aim shot here. Can't shoot him in the crotch, but we'll go for the head because he's on the ground. And there we go. So, dude. He's got crippled limbs, 
I don't know if, there, if I can like do anything with dog meat or not. But uh, at least uh, check out what these guys have. So you have a knife. I'll definitely take that. And another knife. Oh, what's that? Leather, actual leather armor. Interesting. We'll try that on. And then this is a, sl <laughs> a sledgehammer, okay. And then just a pistol. Well, uh, I mean, yeah. Sounds good to me. Uh, let's see what we got here as far as this armor goes. I guess we can look at the sledgehammer as well. So this um, requires strength 6, which we do have. Uh, what does it do for damage? 4 to 10. Range 2. Versus the knife. is 1 to 7, but with no range. Okay. It's just a regular pistol. Basic leather repair arrow, finally crafted from tanned Brahmin hide. So right now we've got like 20% and a bunch of stuff. Uh, yeah, I guess it's better. Normal 2 slash 25. Is that like an AC boost, maybe? Not really sure. Um, can't remember what that first number means, but it is a little bit better. And uh, it doesn't seem to be affecting your agility or anything. Again, I think I mentioned, I don't know if that's actually a thing in this game, but... Um, yeah, we'll wear the, the armor. It sounds pretty good to me. And then we probably better just reload. Alright, let's have a conversation with the people who are still alive. You pass the peanuts. Welcome to the scum pit. Can I get you something to drink? What do you have? What would you like? Give me the hearts. Uh, actually, we don't have that much money. <laughs> Maybe better not. Um. Okay, she doesn't have anything we can actually barter with. Never mind. And then this is Neil. What with the scum pit? What can I do for you? Let's see. Same thing with this guy. Uh, what about some info? Actually, uh, my name is Johnny Freedom. What is this place? He looks at you quizzically for a moment. Haven't you ever seen a bar before, stranger? This is my place, the Scum Pit. You buy drinks here, and you tip me. Uh, right. Can I get some other info? Uh, so what's the deal with the town? Well, just over there to the west is Gizmo's Casino. I'd be surprised if you didn't know about it. Most of the people here are the ones uh, who just finished losing their money there. Um, over in the other part of, town, part of town, you got Killian's General Store and uh, Marcel's Crash House. Killian's a good guy, runs a straight joint, carries everything you need. The Crash House is where you sleep it off when you've been here too long. <laughs> it's just a nice... Uh, just got to find a, get, get a people uh, from the flop house to the Crash House to the casino and you get yourself a, a nice little vicious cycle, I guess. Uh... All right, anything that I can barter with you for, what is this, AP ammo, stim pack. All right, cool. Um, thanks for the info. Uh, actually, one thing we could do for dog meat is we could try doctor on him. That might um, fix his crippled limbs. That's how you do it in this game anyway. Um, he's, Ian's mostly fine. I mean, he won't be if we get into, like, an actual fight, but... Uh, yeah, better save here, just in case this pisses this guy off. He doesn't seem to care. Our version of an alcohol still could be... Could be uh, generously be called a microbrewery. Interesting. Um... What if we science it? We cannot get there. All right. Is there anything in here? Maybe on the bookshelf? Uh, no, nothing there. Can we open the desk? Nothing in the, in the desk. And then the dresser. Nothing there. All right, well, fair enough, I guess. 
Uh, I was hoping we get like a little bit more uh, out of this. We need to get out of the way here. Uh, is there anything else we can do here? I feel like not really. Looks like this guy is gone now. Uh, all right. Well, I guess yeah. Let's get ourselves into the casino. See if anything's changed in there, and we'll also talk to um, Gizmo himself. It's all looking pretty much the same. Oop, looks like uh, video's getting a little wiggly. Kind of have to just keep an eye on the <laughs> the wiggliness and uh, change the phase on my capture card every once in a while here. Um, yeah, we've already done gambling. None of these people look special or different so i think we want to go just in here if we can maybe we can search like some of this stuff i mean did i uh, did i already do this i don't think i actually went in here i'm probably gonna get in trouble if i try to go in the bedroom or search this but we'll try what's this Box of noodles. I'll take it. That's locked. This guy doesn't sleep, I guess. So we've got Izo and uh, Gizmo. Izo's got nothing to say to me. Um, what if... <laughs> Just out of curiosity. Let's see, lockpick is number two. Lock is beyond our ability to pick. Well, nobody seems to care. What do you want? I'm a busy man. He's actually got his own uh, little screen here. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. He doesn't know about the attack on Killian's life. <laughs> so this is, it seems like it's going to be a speech check kind of thing. Let's just see about... He doesn't want to barter. Okay. Let's talk about a hypothetical situation. Such as? Uh, well, let's say you did try to kill Killian and your assassin failed. That means you need a new one to do the job, right? And let me guess. You're that someone? I can kill him quicker than you can spit. Well, how can I trust you? Because I've been around. I've killed before. <laughs> All right. We can do this. But you work for me. You better know that nobody ever double-crosses Gizmo and lives to talk about it. You got me? This seems like a good way to get into a fight. Um... <laughs> of course, but uh, first I need to know why you want him dead. <laughs> That's easy. I want him dead because he cramps my business. So, what are you doing for me? <laughs> uh, you say that again, please, this time in my coat pocket. Uh, sure, it's a job. Good. Return with the dog tags he wears around his neck as proof. And we never had this conversation. You don't mention this to anyone. No one double-crosses me. No one. Okay, now did I actually need to have him do that or what? Because I didn't actually, like, plant the bug. Like, did I... Do I have to... Um... Put it in his desk or something first, you know? Or, like, get... You know, steal and... Put it on him? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. 
Let's see if, uh... This is going to be enough for Killian here. I can figure out... Uh, yeah, this, this is the place. All right, well... Uh, I guess if we rest until morning... And then, where's Killian? It's a guard. Uh, maybe just rest until noon? There he is. So, did you get the evidence? I sure did. Which? Bug or tape? The confession. Let's hear it. That's the first time I've been happy to hear his voice. Thanks, friend. Now, time for you and me to take care of the other business. All right, so do we want stim packs, doctor's med kit, pseudo leather armor? Uh, I guess I should have saved before I talked to him now that I think about it. The shotgun is tempting, though. Um, is the leather. No, the leather armor is the same. We already were wearing leather armor right now, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, the stim packs is a nice idea. Because we do have, like, we got a pretty good weapon already. But I don't know how many stim packs he has. Let's see. He's got one stim pack there. And I guess that's it for barter. Um, but a shotgun sounds pretty good, too. I mean, let's be real. <laughs> uh... And the doctor's medical kit, that'll help us if our limbs get crippled, or like dog meat, for example. Uh, we could fix them up more reliably um, while the med kit or the doctor's kit lasts. Uh, well, let's grab the stim packs first and just see how many we get. I think we had five in our inventory. Pal, well, thanks again. Well, listen, I'm going to take the guards and run Gizmo and his cronies out of town. I could use another gun. You up for it? Might be good for a laugh. <laughs> uh, sure, it'll be worth it just to see him try and walk more than ten feet. Go to Lars at the guard station. He'll fill you in. Now listen, this town owes you a lot. Sure. All right, so we got 500... I think we got four stim packs out of that. Is that really worth it? Over the shotgun? Uh, probably. Like, I mean, we got so many guns already. We can't carry that much as it is. Like, I kind of feel like we're probably almost overloaded right now. Um, and we're going to have to use this stim pack anyway if we're going to go do this other fight. I'll tell you what, uh, I guess let's, we'll save here, but then let's, um, load, oh wait, no, oh no, yeah, this one, yeah, load, load this one, so I think I already have the confession at this point, we just need to run back down. And uh, I don't know where the hell I am. <laughs> oh, here we, here we go. Uh, yeah, we, we'll run down here. Talk to him again. I have to rest again, though, until uh, noon here. Did you get the evidence? Which? Bug, let's hear it. That's the first time I... Well, thanks again. Go to Lars at the... Alright, let's check out this shotgun. 
Oh, we actually have five stim packs. That might be worth. I don't know. I mean, we are taking a shitload of damage every time we get into like a real fight here. Oh my god, though, 100 shells. Uh, yeah, I mean, it seems pretty good. Min strength four. Only gets two shots per, though. But it does 12 to 22, and I assume it probably has like a spread. And, uh, yeah, again, like 100 shells, that's a lot. Hmm. It's a really tough decision. Uh, how much ammo do we have for the SMG? I think it just uses this 10, 10 mil ammo, if I recall. Yeah. So we've got 10 millimeter AP 77 shots. We've got 150 shots. The regular. That's a decent amount, as long as we don't abuse burst fire too much. Plus, we've got magnum shots, so we don't have a magnum yet. I think we will soonish. And we got this hunting rifle as well. It shoots 223. Do we actually have any of that ammo though? 223. Maybe this one, those BBs. Yeah, we, I mean, we got full of plenty of, uh, plenty of other weapons and ammo. And this still does 8 to 20. It just isn't going to do it in a, in a spread. And it can hold 10 rounds. So I think, I think we're better off with the stim packs, weirdly enough, as, as cool as the shotgun is. Um, yeah, so I think we'll, we'll go over this version of events. And, uh, I guess we're not quite done. We're going to have to go and, uh, say our final farewells to old Gizmo as soon as we find the guard station.